Okay, I'm changing the uh, marker and clearance lights on my 93 Prowler fifth wheel. Um, most of the lights on the outside, clearance lights and marker lights, they're this style here. And they've cracked or broken and they have water in them. This one has water in it. A lot of the other ones, you could just put your finger right through it and break it. So I'm getting rid of all these. And I'm putting these on. They're just uh, sealed the light with a with a bulb. I'm not going to put LEDs on the outside. I don't see any reason to put them on the outside. These are bright enough, and I'm not trying to save power when I'm when I've got these on running down the road because my batteries are being charged then. Um, if I was going to change the lights on the inside. I'd probably put LEDs though because you're you'd want to save power there because you're possibly just running off your batteries. You want your batteries to last a while. So these are the ones I'm putting on. And they're just sealed. And I've got a just a bulb in it. And I'm gonna cut all the old uh the old sockets off that are just like this because some of the sockets are getting corroded inside and then I'll be putting these on these holes don't line up with the old hose holes they're a little bit narrower so I'll have to drill new holes and I'm not going to use this rubber gasket thing they give you because I don't really trust it to keep the water out it might do fine, but I'm going to use the butyl tape on the back because then I know it's not going to leak. And I'm going to solder all the joints and use heat, shrink, heat shrink tube on them afterwards. I'm going to use the power probe I got soldering, you know, butane soldering uh, kit. And I'm just going to solder with the uh, the torch. So that works pretty good. And then when I get uh, ready to put on the uh, heat shrink, I'll put this on. And then when you light it off, you just have heat coming up into here. That you can put around the wire, around the heat shrink, and shrink the tubing down. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you how I'm going to check the lights afterwards without hooking the trailer to the truck. So I'm just going to use a battery to uh, check the lights after I get them done to make sure they work. And this is the plug off the trailer. And you can see at the top here, there's a key on it, on the plug. And uh, I just put a spade connector, slid it in there, and one in here. This is the, the, con the connection for the running lights and on the trailer at this point. And this is a ground, so I'm going to take 12 volts off my battery, put it on here, and then put my ground here, and then my light should light up. So if I do that now, I'll just put my 12 volts there, and my ground there. Now my lights should be on. They are. I'm just going to go ahead and cut these off right. You know, take, remove, cut these off right here, and solder my new pigtail and light socket on here, and then heat shrink this. And got all my lights off I'm 
I get this one down here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my new sockets with my new bulbs on there. Those lights are working. Not sure if they have water in them or not, but I may not change those out right now, but maybe later on. This one here is definitely not good. It keeps going on and off. So that's why I'm getting rid of this part because these are kind of green inside because they have water inside them. The ones on the very front, I still need to buy new ones for those. I just uh, covered up the holes, keep the water out because this trailer was sitting outside. I've got it sitting in the garage now though. So, I'll start with this light here and see how it goes. Okay, the red ones go in the back. The amber ones go in the front. This is the one I'm going to put on there. I've already stripped back these wires. And I cut these off. So that's junk. The bulb's good. Maybe. But the sockets junk. So go ahead and strip these. Let's try. Let's try that. Okay, there's how that one turned out. Heat shrink, soldered, works. Put some beetle putty around there and I think I gotta drill at least one more hole. Okay, I finished installing this light. Installed it with beetle putty. Buy it any RV place that's used to seal joints on RVs, like in these corner moldings and other lights and you know, any kind of compartment. That's what this stuff is. And I use stainless steel screws. This is not an LED light, but it's plenty bright. So if you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.